The school cafeteria finds that two out of 28 kids don't like string cheese. What percent of the kids don't like string cheese? Here, they're basically asking you to divide, to do a division. Two out of 28 can be written as two divided by 28. Then you just go ahead and do your division. And remember, as a percent, you need two digits behind the decimal. So we're going to divide this until we get at least two digits behind the decimal. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have 2 divided by 28. How many times does 28 go into 2? 28 is bigger than 2, so it doesn't go into 2. So what we have to do is it goes 0 times. Before we can move on, we have to put a decimal point right here. Once we put the decimal point, we can go ahead and add zeros to continue our division. How many times does 28 go into 20? It doesn't. It goes 0 times. 0 times 28 is 0. You subtract. You're left with 20. Now you can go ahead and add another 0. How many times does 28 go into 200? You can go ahead and multiply 28 by a whole lot of different numbers to see which one comes closest to 200. But let's look at it a little bit. I see 28. I know that 28 times 10 is going to give me 280. I need to get something a little closer to 10 to get to 200. So I go ahead and try a couple of different ones. I'll try 28 times 7. 7 times 856. 7 times 214 plus 519. Oh, here we go. I don't even need to try anything else because I already know that 28 times 8 is going to give me something that's most likely too big. So I'll go ahead and use 7. 196, I subtract, and I get 10 minus 6 is 4. So I can keep going to see if this number would be 5 or more. The reason why I need to go one more place is because I want to know if my final answer is going to be 7% or if it's going to be 8%. What I do is I add another 0, and I can already see that 28 goes into 40 only once. So that gives me my answer. My final answer is going to remain 7%. So 7% of students don't like string cheese.